Hello and welcome back to the Level 7 Games Podcast, where we, John and John, talk about literally anything. This guy here is a professional editor. Small tweener. Why the hell are French Canadians making my game? And who's that guy? Thomas Fancy? Game reviewer. How to make it through a disaster, you know? Son of a... So much blood. You want to hear some good news? For once... And this guy owns and operates Denver's best gaming stores, Level 7 Games. With four different kinds of oatmeal. And it's hot! Ah! If no one will listen. Ah! Ah! And we got something for everybody. I know all you kiddos out there love your damn video games, yeah? Yeah? Well, alrighty, let's get on with this. And every Thursday, we talk about pop culture, the gaming industries, and how they intertwine with our daily lives. Welcome back. Um, we're professional here. Of course the lights are on. Our our, our entire production crew. You know, let's... Thank let's you, give guys. It, let's give it... Hey. The audience members. Hey, we appreciate y'all coming out. Everybody's just great. It's just great to work with, with everybody we work with. It's a, it's a real pleasure. It's Dave... True. Dave, our producer, um, Big Dave. I that, see you. I see you. <laughs> We're not making you up. Yeah. Anyhow, totally how's everybody up. doing today? Level Seven Podcast, <laughs> broadcast. What are you gonna podcast, do? broadcast, podcast, broadcast. I finally got all this stuff switched over. Oh, did you? I did. I want to change it back. Oh, I'm fuck. Just <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That took me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> but this week on the podcast. Okay. Ah, hey, got, got him, me. got him. Let's go, audience members. Let's oh, hear it. Let's hear it with the hand laughter. All right. Good stuff, good stuff. All right. This week on the broadcast, we're going to be talking about Elvis a little bit. Oh, 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 well, All shook up. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he made those noises. Oh yeah. I mean, as you do. He just sounds like he's about to sneeze all the time. <laughs> all right. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. We'll sorry. Get to that at some point. Okay. Good, sorry. Uh, <laughs> gonna be talking about this Broncos Thursday game. I'm going to that. Let's go. Uh, no Man's Sky is coming to the Switch. Overwatch Two. Adult boxes at McDonald's. Uh, Magic the Gathering, both Unfinity and uh, Warhammer 40k, like Commander decks that are we're going to be talking about. Talk then, about that. Talk about that. Hang out till the end to uh, to hear what the question of the week is. Oh, what's the question of the week? What game? Well, do- I, thought, I thought they got to <laughs> hang out till the end. <laughs> or do that? No. no. <laughs> uh, uh, got him. Yeah. Fake out. Got Fucking you, some bitch. Fake you do out. have to be. There at the end. Uh, so we'll go over last week's question, and then we'll go uh, discuss the new one. Let's do it. Yeah. So last week's question was... <laughs> no, we're doing that last. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Okay. I understand. No, at, fir- at first, we were talking about our favorite musician that no one, I think, even really... Wonders oh, Elvis. Thinks about? I don't know. Yeah, Elvis. Well, I mean, he just had a movie, a biopic, right? That's true. Okay, Has what anybody made... anybody seen it? Uh, Alicia was actually watching it. Oh, really? Alicia likes Elvis. Oh, okay. Well, that's fantastic. Maybe you'll know stuff, because I know nothing. Um, yeah, I mean, I know my grandma likes Elvis a lot. Right. And I know that Alicia likes Elvis. And I know that, although Elvis the person was a, uh, a complicated man, it would <laughs> seem. He also died at like 40-something. Did he really? It was like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty young, actually. He was um, that. I thought he was in his fifties or something. I think everybody thinks. I, I don't know. Let's find out. Al, this I mean, died. Forties and fifties, really not that, that big of a age. difference, but I mean, kind of. Forty-two, 42. years old. Forty-two. So he Barely died at 40. forty. So this fat Elvis that everybody remembers. <laughs> That's what, look at the pictures I that know, they put. Those, those are the are pictures. The worst those pictures. are, I, well, I mean, I did put died at age. Oh, that, and so, yeah. So, I mean, look, things weren't going well for Elvis. At the age of 42, which proves that you could be the king of rock and roll. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, thank you. 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 Oh, thank you.
Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> it's just him up there. And they're just shooting pepper at him real quiet, like in the fans that are pointed at the stage. He's like, huh? Y'all don't shake up on him. I can't breathe. Come on. Anyhow. There's something about a hound dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Something about a hound dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's a he's a classic American hero. Anyhow, um, yeah. So, what made you think of Elvis? Why are we talking about Elvis? I you really brought, have yeah. no clue. It's it was just one of those random things. I was like, oh yeah, Elvis existed. Okay, sure. I I, I agree, but I mean, there was a movie that just came out that they've been pushing. So you you may have seen like advertisements in right. bars and and after I after I thought that I did see the the poster. I think it was like, where the hell was it? I don't know, like Netflix or something. So what you're saying is the subliminal marketing is working. I think so. It's making you think about Elvis, where you're like, man, I wish I knew a little bit more about Elvis. I wish there was a movie that was recently released what? that I could refer to. Oh my God, they got me. They got you, bro. Them sons of they, bitches. You didn't even know it. They got you, bro. That movie just dropped. Like, <laughs> uh, Damn, they got me good. Well, either way. I was wondering, what, what's going on with Elvis? Well, you know, the word is he stole a lot of music from black folks, so that's unfortunate. Not sure exactly the uh, the claims, you know, other than probably some, some riffs and styles and right. hip swaggering, um, I think was one of the, the big ones. So, I mean, listen, that's probably all true. He probably, probably jacked a bunch of stuff and oh. had the resources to make it more popular. But, you know, what are you going to do? The... The world is what it is, and what happened happened, and I think he's not the king of rock and roll anymore. Do I, I don't think, think so? That's is what, there I mean, even a king of rock and of rock and roll? <sighs> king of rock and roll? Who would that be? That is impossible. There's I too mean, many people. I, let's 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 just say who would it be nowadays? I think there mm. would be a huge consensus if there was a vote. Of the king, which that doesn't even make oh, sense. God. But if don't, we had to vote, let people vote. If we had to vote in a king, I think it would be Dave Grohl. I think the world would would be the okay with sublime, Dave Grohl. Or wait, which band is? It? <laughs> I'll kill you. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> that's Foo. It's Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters. That's it. I. <laughs> it was in that same era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Age. <laughs> sublime. Okay, sure. Right. Sure. But Sublime's good too. But um, Sublime singer's dead. Uh, I, now they have Rome. Who the fuck is Rome? I don't know. But when you go see Sublime, it's always Sublime with Rome, because the with roaming charges. Damn it! Yeah, damn it! <laughs> so no, yeah, yeah, the original singer of of Sublime died. You know. He, and I'm trying to show my fucking t-shirts up because my sweater's hot, but it's like not opening. There you go. Like, Sorry. I like it. Um, <laughs> Just got tired of it. You know, I actually, uh, my grandma really liked Elvis a lot growing up. So, like, I had to hear about this a lot, a lot. She had, like, not like she wasn't like a crazy lady who collected a bunch of stuff, but she had some Elvis like little figures. You got and the plates. Plate. Yep. Yeah. Some, <laughs> the what is it plate. with fucking plates? Like, I don't know. It's like nowadays we're like, oh shit, just put that on a piece of paper. I'll staple that shit to the wall. Done. Like <laughs> right. we got so lazy. That's our plate. A poster is what a plate was. Where it's like China is nice. If we put a picture on the China, then it's like themed it's, China. Yeah. But now we're just like, well, fuck all the nice part of it. Just put it on a piece of paper <laughs> and I'll staple it to the wall and everybody will know what I like. They made some really awesome paper plates that just had some killer prints on them. I bet you somebody would make something out of that. Should we make like modern day nerd China? Yes. That would be a bad idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just a China rack, right? And it's just, it's a t shirt, but it's like four little pieces of China. It's like, nice rack. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. It's giving me the giggles. Hey, you know, we're just brainstorming. Yeah. Not all ideas are bad ideas now listen if we get the china and it's actually themed appropriately it could be hilarious no I'm, I'm just kidding it really could especially if we get some like cool patterns on like alternating plates mm. i like the kind of patterns where they like they like use the logo or something yeah they flip flop and it's like the same pattern over yeah. and over infinitely and you're like, Whoa, like a vhs you... tape oh, that'd be cool I've seen that one a lot recently yeah yeah good stuff so 
yeah, so China's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> not, not the, well, not, not the country. China is pretty cool. I don't know I mean, about the sc- government of China yeah, as much, uh, but I also don't know about our government. So, you know, fuck it. I don't know about governments. How I don't about, know about that? anything that has to do with governments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm done, saying. Done I trust everything I, weird. Yeah, I trust people. I don't trust governments. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, to get you. You get to get you. See? No, I'm just kidding. Or am I? Huh? But, um, yes. Um,. What were we talking about? We're talking about China. <laughs> we were talking about talking Elvis about... Presley. Oh, Elvis Presley. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Elvis Presley led into us talking about the People's <laughs> Republic of China. Duh. Makes of perfect course. sense. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and the way this and the way this all relates to Ukraine is it doesn't. Um, oh shit. Yeah. Problem solved. Not everything does. No. Okay. So is now it... that we're past that. Mm. Elvis Presley. <coughs> I don't know. He had some hits. I like. I liked Hound Dog. Wow. Hound Dog was cool. What about uh, what's the one where he's like, you know, all shook up's pretty good. What's the blue suede shoes? I never liked that one. Elvis never liked blue suede shoes. No, I never liked blue suede shoes. I was like, first of all, blue suede shoes are ugly. It's really weird to think that my dad isn't like obsessed with Elvis. Oh, Suspicious Minds was a good one. We're caught in a trap. I can't look back because I love you too much, baby. <laughs> That's when he started getting, yeah. Yeah. He's starting to feel stuff. Yeah, exactly. Soul. Jailhouse Rock was corny. Oh, I liked Can't Help Falling in Love. Uh, you, yeah. you know. I'm not going to sing all of these. <laughs> Come on, dude. Like, nah. <laughs> can't, can't help falling in love. Here we go. The, John's you, take number You're one. the devil in disguise. Dude, okay, he had some fucking hits. That's what I'm saying. Like, dude had hits. In the ghetto, little boy with a runny nose. Plays in the street as a cold wind blows. In the ghetto. In the ghetto. And his mama cries. Yeah, right? <laughs> you remember you were there. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Hundred <laughs> uh, percent. Anyhow, okay, let's get past the Elvis thing. Elvis, okay. uh, who knows? Who knows? Maybe he was um, a pedophile. <laughs> who knows if these claims are true or not? <laughs> There's a lot of things. People say a lot of things about Hawaii. You know? Mm, true. Yeah. True. Uh, let us know in the comments if you've watched the Elvis movie. And if it's any good. Yeah, tell us all the disparaging things you think about Elvis. Because yeah. it's like, again, <laughs> dude had some decent music. So did Michael Jackson. Maybe they did weird stuff. Who knows? Yep. I would imagine so. <laughs> I just got to uh, put the disclaimer out there. Like, I don't approve of any artist's actions. Oh, some, I see what you're saying. And there's some, per- and, and although I, I, I do enjoy a certain artist's catalog of music, I don't always agree with their decisions as a human being. So, yes. Yes. So, yeah. I see what you're saying now. I had no clue what the <laughs> hell you were talking about. I have to just keep being though. like, there's all these like insane <laughs> things that people have said, and they may be true. And I have, I, I've never confirmed any of this because I don't care enough. And I probably, I right. won't watch the Elvis biopic because it'll make me like him less as a human, probably. Oh, and, and then I would like about him that way. And I try not to. I right. try, I try to, I try to separate the art from the artist. Keep, keep it's that like Tom art Cruise. on the pedestal. Yeah, it's it's like Tom Cruise. I'm not Tom Cruise boner. If I met him, I'd be like, dude, you're my fucking hero. But (laughs) (laughs) Mission Impossible's fucking awesome. Mr. Cruise, he's this tall, so I'd be like, Mr. Cruise, dude, great job. I'd get on my knees and be like, you're getting big. Um, (laughs) You're eating all your vegetables. (laughs) He'd be like, ah, yep. Hey, what are you gonna do? It's funny. <laughs> Apparently that. <laughs> but speaking of awesome things to do, today, as you guys are seeing this, hopefully as long as my computer doesn't shit itself, is Thursday, meaning the Broncos are playing the Colts. Broncos country, let's, let's ride. ride. But uh, Let's ride. I'm glad that we have something again, <laughs> even if it's corny and the let's ride thing. I, it's, lo- I love it. I like it. It's I- hilarious. It's both, it was like a thing before, so it's like retro, but like brand new again. And it also, it kind of encapsulates the fact that like, listen, we like corny quarterbacks. 
John Elway is corny as fuck. The corniest. Peyton Manning was a corny ass. <sighs> and so look at Russell hilarious. Wilson. Like you wanna you wanna hate him, but you just can't because he gets up there and he's like, "Hey guys, you know we're just gonna go out there. We're gonna try again, and everybody's gonna do their best. And you know I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Are you perfect, Jim? You know what? You are perfect. I love you. Come here. And Jim's just like, "Who me?" And it's like, what? "Yeah, come here." And he blesses him, and Jim <laughs> ascends into heaven, and everybody's like, oh. "Whoa, Russell Wilson, that was <laughs> incredible." Yeah. And he's just like. Thanks, guys. Any more questions? And they're like, no, we're good. That was amazing. And All right, love like, you guys. Bye. And they like, touches somebody's forehead on the way out, and they just, yeah. <laughs> and <he's> like, <laughs> Don't let Russ touch you. <laughs> and everybody's like, are they coming back? <laughs> I think he killed them. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's cursed or blessed. It's a little bit of both. It's like, <gasps> oh, oh, <guys." laughs> He's just right behind you. Sorry, forgot my headphones and your headphones and your headphones and just starts handing out free headphones. <laughs> and everybody's like, whoa, this is amazing. Where's he getting all of these? He's just literally pulling them out of thin air. Yeah, he's yeah. Like, whoa. He's got like magic pockets that he can store like in a chest. Like little warp. All that to say, Broncos country, <laughs> let's ride. Let's ride. <laughs> let's ride. Yeah, so that Raiders game was butt. Although... I feel like as a team, the Broncos actually played way better, even though they lost. Sure, um, like they were fine. Like they were hitting those routes. Russell was able to hit most of them. Like they didn't drop a lot. Sure. I mean, yeah, there were mistakes, but fuck. At least they're starting to look like a unit. Yeah. Sure. I think. I think. I don't even know where, mm. what, what to say I think about it. I think it's, it's uh, this was the, the ugliest game to me so far. Oh. And, and so you didn't think at all what I thought. No, I th- because it's like we already knew the potential was there for them to get things right and get it going. And we could all see that, that there was fumbles and shit like that early on that you're like, okay, we got to fix some of these things and right. we got this. But it's the exact same shit fumbles and penalties Got that one and fucking fumble right dropped in passes arms. and it's like it's not as many but it is the same stuff and now we have injuries on top of it javante williams is out for the season we did just get randy get randy gregory's out for the season oh shit we did just get a dang it who the hell did latavius we murray latavius murray there we go he's the old raiders running back mm-hmm so, he's decent. I mean, he's a solid back. He's not going to do anything incredible, I think. But I once, mean, he, he was good. Yeah, he's he was really a, he was solid a, back. He would get you at least five yards every time. He scored on us all the fucking time. Every game. <laughs> so uh, we're playing the Colts tomorrow. I like I, I like Matt Ryan. He's been in the league for a long time. So it's like watching him play would be cool. He's on one of my fantasy teams. And then Michael Pittman Jr. is on one of my fantasy teams. Hell yeah. So I've got like a couple. I don't even know who they're – oh, they're playing – Dude, I'm yeah, doing yeah. so awful this year. I'm 0 and 4 in one of them and 2 and 2 in the other. I mean 2 and 2 isn't bad. 2 and 2 isn't awful and luckily 0 and that's... 4 is like if you go 0 and 5 you're kind of I know. You're kind of turded out. It's just I I can't it... pick the right people. My bench keeps getting like 25, 30 points and then the people that are in get like 2 points. It's like okay. god damn it. This time going forward, don't trust Jane stinks. I haven't been. Like, each time I tried a different thing. Like, the first time I was, like, going with my gut. Next week, I was like, damn, wow, that was awful. My gut's retarded. And then I looked at just the predicted points. None of them worked. And then I Your did... gut's like, hey, brain, don't blame me. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, oh hey. Ah! <laughs> then, yeah, it's, oh, it's just a train wreck in that one. Is that the main league? Is that the... No, luckily it's not the main league. That's the baby boys league? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay. So... It... We're, we, we got, a, we got a le- an under league for our main league, like a training league. Yeah. For the youngins at the shop. It's a, it's a shop league. So. And I love being in that one. That one's a fun one. I mean, they're both fun, obviously, but... Because it's just filled with a lot of awesome people. Or both of them. Yeah, and some assholes. Some, but you have to have it or else it's not fantasy football. Then you have... Just all the kind exchanges, which is my family one. Mm. Everybody's just like, it's like, oh, you you were real close, champ. Oh, good, good job there. And they buckaroo. beat you by like eighty points or something. You're like, like oh, stop man. it. <laughs> oh, your bench did real good though, huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. In our league, it's just it's constant so shit talking, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> yeah. But uh, so let's go Broncos. Let's fuck 
up the Colts. We might even have to play against Philip Lindsay. Nobody's going to play Philip Lindsay. The Colts might. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, that'd be good. A revenge game. I mean, he right? played for the Texans. Yeah, for a little bit. Were you a Philip Lindsay fan? I, I mean, I mean, I was because what he did, he did well. But that was all he could do was just the break away and sprint really fast. Yeah, I mean, which was a yeah, it was a great thing. But he couldn't catch. He couldn't block super well. Like the blocking the bl- was, oh, yeah, it was, was rough. Great. Yeah, we watched Teddy. Bre- well, who was he playing with at the time? He was playing with. It's hard to know how many fucking quarterbacks God, did we have. One of the nine we've had. Was in it five Kirk years. Cousins? Is that who we had? No, we had. What was his no. name? Trevor Simeon. Yeah, we had Trevor Simeon. And then we had who was the Paxton Lee? Case Keenum. Case Keenum. <laughs> yep. We had Case Keenum for a minute. <laughs> then we had Joe Flacco. <laughs> oh God, I forgot about Joe fucking Flacco, <laughs> and he's still playing apparently. <laughs> yeah, he plays with the Jets. That's <laughs> Good yeah. job, Joe Flacco. Yeah, Broncos is country. Let's fucking ride. <laughs> Dude. Uh, Sweet. Well, we got Teddy. Well, we the Teddy. Jesus. We oh, had him God. too. But uh, <laughs> we got Russell in a, what, five-year contract? So let's hope he stops. I don't know. He's he's honestly not been awful. The thing that I think that's missing, and we'll stop talking about the Broncos after this. Do we is, have to? <laughs> no, no. I like talking about But I think the thing is, is everybody was just expecting him to run more. Mm. I think that's yeah. the biggest that's the biggest like missing factor of of what his dynamism or whatever is keeping a play alive, running, getting the first down, doing what fucking Derek Carr did last week to he, us twice where it was like third and long and the damn guy ran That's cuz they had nobody in the middle. Uh, it, well, I mean the thing is is it's like that's two during crucial fourth quarters Mm -hmm. that they did not keep him under check and he's not a running quarterback and they couldn't i don't know it's just it was it was very frustrating because he's doing what our quarterback is supposed to be doing Mm, (laughs) i see (laughs) am i supposed to be i mean like that's one of his known skill sets that is that he excels at so it's like kind of becomes an expectation but instead he's just like I'm a pocket quarterback now. And you're like, no, you're not. Get the fuck out of that pocket. <laughs> run. You get out of that pocket and you run for your life, Russell. You run. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. I, You know what? I'm going to make a run, Russell, run shirt. <laughs> That's what we need. Yeah. It's a Forrest Gump shirt, but it's oh. Russell Wilson. I get. I do get to go to two games this year. I definitely. Two games. Two games. Freaking. Raiders when they're here and KC when they're here. Mm, that sucks. You got to watch us lose twice. JK. Say, get just the kidding. Fuck out of here. Look, I'm salty about what happened with the Raiders this week because I was like, we got to get them, right? I felt like I just, I don't know. I didn't feel it going in. Raiders were 0 3. That's a desperate ass team right there. Yeah, in a divisional game at yeah. home. You know what? I see what you're saying, but those are excuses. It's I unacceptable. Know. We shouldn't have lost that game. I agree. We shouldn't have lost the Seahawks game either, but whatever. Oh, my God. That was... I digress. Gross. Uh, and that's the problem, is it's like, <laughs> you can only say, you can only say, oh, we should have won that game. We should. We fumbled it away. You can only say that two games of the season, especially right. early on, before you're like... Okay, you suck. Yeah, because now you should be in the swing of things, and if you're not, then you're just not working. Well, then you just suck. Yeah. Like, if you can't hold on to the ball. God damn it, Melvin Gordon. Catch the fucking ball. (laughs) Block a guy. (laughs) Like, without holding. It actually wasn't Bulls that did it a whole lot. Who the hell was it? I don't know. Somebody else was getting a holding call, like, every fourth play. Little little Ricky. He's like, God... Damn it, little Ricky. Oh, Ricky. Okay. Stop tugging on the jersey. He's like, but Russell's going to die. I love little Russell. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. And he's like, hey, man, don't worry about it, okay? Bless you. And dude just... <laughs> and it's like, he, he was a demon. Don't worry. Don't help him. As his skin just... <laughs> and you ready to play demon? <laughs> 
Yeah. As Russell banishes demons <laughs> live on the field, and everybody's just like, oh my God, he's amazing, and he sucks at football this year. Ah, <laughs> no souls, though. Just watching Geno Smith have a fucking <laughs> revive. Have you seen Geno Smith has the highest quarterback rating of like any quarterback in what? five games ever or some shit? Our no. highest complete, completion percentage of any quarterback in the first like Gino five Smith. games. Yeah, Geno Smith, the Who's... Seahawks quarterback. Oh, Russell's replacement. Fuck. He was the was he on the Raiders for a while? I think Geno Smith was on the Raiders. I can't remember. I don't honest. even know anymore, dude. I've lost track. Okay, no more football. What are we doing talking about now? All right, now we're going to be talking about Vichy games. What are those? No Man's Sky in particular is coming to the Switch. Oh, I mean, uh, I, I I really wonder how well that's going to work. Right. I mean, if it works, that's really cool. That's got to be such a big game, though. So he was on the Raiders. Yeah. Oh, Smith? He was a quarterback on the Raiders for a while. Yeah. That son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow. Okay. Sorry, I'll shut up now. Giants, Chargers. Dude's been everywhere. Oh, I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Uh, Yeah, so I don't... I don't know. I really could not care less about No Man's Sky at this point. It's... uh, uh, If it runs well on the Switch, it is maybe one of the best Switch games because it's like, here's an infinite amount of shit to do Mm. on a Switch. You know what I mean? It's like... It seems like the game... And I haven't played it. I remember when it first came out, and I did play it. I installed it, and I was like, this game is going to be what exactly what they said it's going to be. <laughs> and I know I was, they weren't lying. No, I, you know, I was oversold on it. I didn't have the expectations of it being perfect or anything like that because I'm not a fucking idiot. Right. But at the same time, it sucked. Infinite it universes was, and shit. It's like, no, no, there's not. It, it was awful when it first came out. And I was like, oh, this is bad. So bad. But I guess now it's supposed to be real good. Yeah. I mean, that's all I keep hearing. I don't know anybody that's actually played it. But it's what I keep hearing. Yeah. Yeah, it's like one of those Minecraft-style games where it's like, mm. how much how much time are you trying to waste? Right, doing... If it's 10 hours a week, this isn't the game for you. If it's a, If it's 100 hours a week... That's the game for you. You want Jeez. just this unlimited amount of nonsense. That's a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> well, hot damn. But let's go No Man's Sky. Yeah. I mean, good job. You you brought something out of nothing. And I mean, if as long so, as you yeah. keep updating it, making it better, adding more shit, I'm just, I guess I'm curious as to like how big the game is. If it's as big as it is or whatever, like, is it? size wise very large and if so how does that work and right and how dumbed down are those graphics going to be exactly that's kind of always the concern with the the portable versions of game is like how bad is this going to look like how much graphical f- fidelity do i have to compromise to have it portable and most of the time i think it's worth it yeah i think it's worth it i definitely do love uh, the doom ports on there so far yeah yeah i mean just imagine I guess they've. It, it's crazy to think, but Doom was always kind of available, even in a portable form. They did it on the GBA. Yep, and the first one was incredible. The controls on there were perfect. Did you, they do one on the Game Boy or Game Boy Color? No, they didn't do either of those. There was there was a Duke Nukem. Oh, that was Color. Nintendo wouldn't do and anything weird. Like, Commander Keen got a Game Boy Color, a release. That's tight. But I think that's it from them. Not that Duke Nukem is them either. Don't yell at me in the comments for that. <laughs> yeah. Can't I know it's not that. Duke Nukem's owned by Gearbox. I know it's not. I id that owns Duke Nukem. Chill. Uh, but speaking of... Id? Id. No, I think... I love Doom. No, I'm kidding. What are we talking about? I don't know. You said id owns Duke Nukem. No, they don't. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Overwatch 2. Man, that game is... Woo! Super fun, I hear. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nobody can play it. Yeah. That's super broken. I, some article said something about it, like, being hacked or something. That fucking sucks. Yeah, it's like, 
All right, guys. We worked on this for years and years, team. The day has finally come for us to not be able to... Yeah, you can't play because it's under attack. Hold on. There's an update. Ooh, update. Update. This just happened. Uh, this is this morning. The game director of Overwatch 2 says the game has... Oh, fucking... Oh, Hold man. On. Uh, has now suffered a second DDoS attack. There's still no word on when the servers will be back to normal functionality. Damn, dude. Weird. I wonder why. That's fucking crazy. Who, who would do that? Like, what? Why? Why? Why do that? I think I should say. Well, um, I mean, it's generally for either to steal assets. To steal personal information of players and users, mm. or to steal files to then blackmail. So it's like there was um, the dude who had had the what was it the GTA Six source code, some source code, yeah. and he was like holding it up for ransom. And then there was the like, <laughs> yeah, and then there's just the people who you know, and that works, looking for leaks and trying to figure out like hack it to figure out what's coming next. And then there's fuckers who are just trying to steal all the user data so then they can identity theft everybody, Jeez. I guess. What the hell? Stop it. It's the People's Republic of China that's doing it. I'm telling you. Ah, 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 dang it. Bitch. <laughs> it's always them. Always comes back to Overwatch 2. <laughs> Every single time. And why? I don't know. That sucks, man. That really blows. But, uh, I installed it yesterday. I was super psyched. Yeah, I wonder how many people were just beyond excited and then got on and just couldn't get on. Yeah, I guarantee. Well, because Overwatch it's, 1 doesn't work right now. So, oh, it doesn't? So now anybody who's like an Overwatch player is just two days without the game that they like to play the most, which, you know what I mean? Fuck off. First two world days. problems. Yeah. You get over it. <laughs> but but still, I mean, it's it sucks. Because right. it's like, you know, a lot of people worked on these games, and I'm sure these companies are losing money hand over fist. And oh, man. I, this is the kind of publicity that is both good to get attention that you're releasing a game, but also when you're when you hyped a game for a specific release date and those users don't sign in, you're you're bound to lose potential customers. Just to the the time aspect of it, just like hey, this is the day it comes out. It's not available. People are immediately going to just blame you and say, "All right, fuck off." Right. Which sucks. It does really suck. I'm what? here for you, Activision Blizzard. <laughs> Just fighting for the little guy, yeah. Activision Blizzard, owned by Microsoft now. Yeah, they could, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Bill Gates. Yeah, you're fine. Got it. Uh, speaking of things that are doing fine, old McDonald's has <laughs> had a, a farm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Elvis. Here's a Kleenex or something. Oh, I'm allergic to horses. <laughs> Get off the horse. <laughs> I, I like him so much. <laughs> He's my little friend. Elvis, don't touch that. <laughs> Your That's hand doesn't belong there. <laughs> I like <him>. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Fucking sicko. That's All you know, right. and you know Elvis. <laughs> sicko. The best version of Elvis <laughs> was obviously just Bruce Campbell in Bubba Hotep. Oh yeah, of course. If you haven't seen that and you're an Elvis fan, definitely check it out. Or mummies or B movies. Adults box is now at McDonald's. Oh yeah, McDonald's has an adult box. Yeah. I don't even know what that means. So, like, is it real? McDonald's adult meal. meal. Oh, geez. It's real. Oh, no. <laughs> McDonald's adds adult Happy Meals to the menu. Yes, you get a toy. So it's like a little, little grimace or... Why do they all have four eyeballs? I don't know. It's What's very strange. As a kid... Okay, I don't care about your fucking opinion on this. Just tell me about the goddamn toys. <laughs> Announce a new know. menu item, a Happy Meal for adults. It's not called an adult Happy Meal, but it's absolutely not. Shut up! It's not cute. <laughs> um, a toy. Okay, whatever. 
a street where okay, here we go. Here's, okay. here's the actual story. McDee's, whoever wrote this is an idiot, partnered um, with the streetwear brand called Cactus Plant Flea Market to drop the Cactus Plant Flea Market box. Ugh. So yeah, that's that's what it is. This is an advertising thing. Oh. And so they distorted the original dudes, like, you know, Grimace and yeah. Bird Person and the Hamburger Thief. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> Look, you everybody, know we're talking everybody about. knows that Grimace is the best one, dude. Right? He was just Barney before Barney. Get out of here. But, um, yeah, so anyhow. Um, oh, the Hamburglar. Hangbler. Yes. I knew I knew it. <laughs> Deep inside. Yeah, somewhere. well, what's her name though? Birdie? Bird bird person? Thicky? Bert Reynolds. Anyhow, so so yeah, this is this is an advertising scheme. Oh. Sweet. So there you have it. McDonald's doesn't have an adult happy meal. McDonald's sold out to you the man. Oh, you sons of bitches. Or vice. I don't know. Did the man sell out to McDonald's? I don't know. Who proposed mm. this whole thing? I, I want to know how the ins and outs. Tell me. Shit, if I know, you brought probably up. just some guy in a flea market <laughs> uh, to sell advertising some thing was eating some uh, McDonald's for his lunch break. And they're like, you know what? It's a pretty good idea there, Tim. I like your thinking. We got to get somebody big involved in this. We ain't got shit showing up for our freaking cactus plant flea market. We got to talk to McDonald's. See, where McDonald's is messing up with all this stuff, and this is just my opinion, is like if you're going to do toys and you're going to... The collectibles, at the end of the day, if they're for adults, they're not toys because they're not going to fucking play with them. They're going to collect them and they're going to put them on a shelf and keep them for some stupid arbitrary reason. So if you're going to do something like this and you're going to have adults chasing these things to try to get a set, presumably, you got to have a chase. You That's have true. to have a limited one or a limited thing that people will come back and buy more and more and more and and then and then they sell out and they're hard to find and then the streetwear company is like you know we're sorry to put all the people who died in the riots but cactus plant flea market is rich you know what I'm they probably already are they're probably owned by mcdonald's <laughs> probably and yeah they should have put ronald mcdonald in there because he's officially just gone so if they were like, oh, here's a throwback. Well, yeah, he's a fucking white man. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what he is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, his face is white, right? I mean, it's painted he's got that way. Red lips. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know. It's a fucking clown. <laughs> but yeah, if you made that like the Chase one, people would go fucking bonkers for these. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Ronald McDonald's the Chase one. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like a gold one. Yeah. He's or it's just all. Fucking red or something weird. Just a tombstone, says Ronald. Yeah, rip. Rip Ronnie. <laughs> R.I.P. Ronnie. Little Ronnie. You had so many children sit next to you on those benches. You took you so many pennies. Fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah. So, Ronnie McDonnie. Um, Mc, 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 cactus plant flea market box. Okay, sure. Whatever. Okay. Do, if you're like... into it. If you're not. If you don't care, and if uh, something, 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 something. Fantastic. <laughs> Moving on to Magic the Gathering. There's some silly shit going on over there, too. Oh, these in boys the done un- lost their minds. In the Unfinity Packs. Unfinity Packs. Yeah. So, I did bring a pack, but I let Alicia open it because she got excited when she saw it. And usually I bring her a pack of the newest set, and... Mm. And forgot one. And, yeah, forgot to bring her an extra one. So we already opened the pack. It's going to happen that way. But we did a pack opening. I put it on the TikTok and the other Insta, on, Insta, Insta books, Insta yeah, book yeah, TikToks. Yeah. I, I, it might even be on the, the Twitter. But, um, mm. yeah, I did not. What I haven't been doing is uploading the short videos to YouTube, which I got to start doing again, the shorts. Yeah. Yeah, I keep forgetting to do that. So, anyhow, um, it's cool. So Unfinity is the newest unset which is essentially i wouldn't say a joke set it's just um it's a set that's not themed in the high fantasy universe as much 
to be taken seriously, right? It's like the fun set. So on, you know, you know what I mean? So it's like this one, for example, is a the, the Haber Thrasher, like a haberdasher, like a person who makes hats and their creature type is instead of an artificer, somebody who makes artifacts is a hatificer. <laughs> it reads better than it speaks, if that yeah. makes sense. It sounds dumb. But like, you know, for example, this token here is a is a teddy bear. So you can it's it, it's meant to be funny. It's like space carnival themed is the the thing. Now what the unsets are known for in the past and I think now are the um the basic lands have always been special full art basic lands mm. um in the yeah. unsets and now they've introduced a new foiling which looks like classic Pokemon hollow foil. It's got like, you know, the swirls the, and yeah, stuff. The little bursts of sparkles and mm-hmm. shit. But um and <laughs> And then the um, if you know what a shock land is, basically a shock land is a two colored land that is a non basic land that comes out and you can choose to take two damage for it to come out untapped. Shock is a popular old school magic card mm. from original magic that deals yep. two damage. So essentially, they call them shock lands. Like that's cute. You take two damage. Uh, oh, the cl- or, classic red spell. Or you can bring it out tapped and not take any damage but the shock lands are also in here i didn't pull one out of this pack sadly damn we did pull on the i i put the the video that i said i put up at the pack opening we did pull one of the galaxy foil shock lands out of the first pack that i opened damn aiden actually called me and he's like you fucker and i was like <laughs> what he's like the first pack you open and i was like what what did i do and he's like you got that galaxy foil shockland i was like oh are those hard to get and he's like you only get like one in every eight boxes and i was like let's go (laughs) it's like i fucking hate you i wanted to open that one yeah he's like i already opened my box and i didn't get one i was like sucks to suck loser sucks to Fuck. Didn't no, handle it with much tact then, huh? Who, me? Oh, no. no. I'm, a, I'm a real sack of shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know this. They know. Anybody watching this knows that I'm a sack of shit. Oh, yeah. Say it. Nope. I like it. Uh-uh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, so the other cool magic thing that happened this week is uh, Warhammer 40k Commander decks. Ooh. Ooh, check it out. This is this is one of the the most popular one. This is the Abaddon. Um, oh. It's red, black, and blue. And uh, there's four different ones. So and soon you will be too. So that each each deck is themed in a different army from the uh, from the the 40k universe. So this is the Tyranid deck. That one is I should say over here. Uh, the ruinous powers. Yeah, um, the Necrons. Necrons are cool. They're I don't know what exactly that is. what you think. They're just like the undeads, the zombies of that world. And then, uh, oh yeah, this is like the steampunk dudes, the Inquisitor, Inquisitor Grayfax. Oh, nice. They just white. Oh no, white, blue, and black. Yeah, all of them are three colors, which is cool. And there's a lot of new cards in each one of these because it's one of the universe beyond um, Beyond. sets. Oh, wow. Beyond. Universe Beyonce. Um, so there were just the four of them? Uh, yeah, just the four of them. And yeah, each one of them comes with 100 cards. 42 new cards in this deck, for example. Like, it's crazy oh, yeah. to think, but it, usually in Commander decks, you get five new cards, like in a pre-con. Right. And then the rest are all reprints. This has got 42 new cards in each one of these decks. And then also all of the reprints that are in it all have new custom artwork that are themed to the deck. That's fucking dope. So they really went out of their way to, like, you know, make sure it fits. Did you see they're doing Assassin's Creed Universes Beyond? <laughs> really? Yeah, they're doing Assassin's Creed, Lord of the Rings... The Lord of the Rings, I cannot fucking wait for. And they announced another one that I actually am excited about, but now I can't remember what it is. It's, um... Oh, I don't know. I'll remember. I'll have yeah. to remember. Um, Whenever it's coming up, we'll know. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Universe. Oh, yeah. I'm super excited for that Lord of the Rings one. The Assassin's Creed one could be really cool if they did focus on the uh, the Viking 
I think, although, uh, what the hell is the really famous one? A, Avoy or something? Of Damn. what? Uh, the Assassin. Ezio. Ezio. Yep, yep. An Ezio one would be really cool, too. Get, like, Da Vinci's machines and all that kind of shit in there. Oh, they're doing a Transformers one. Transformers. And then also, oh, fa- Final Fantasy. Oh, that one will be freaking sweet. Yeah, in 2024, they're doing a... In 2024. Jeez. Like, why even tell me? Right? Like, don't I don't want to fu- know that far ahead. Don't even fucking tell me you're doing shit like that in 2020. Who cares? Yeah, not me. Yeah, not I'm right not gonna, now. I already... I'm trying to forget it. <laughs> but yeah, that Lord of the Rings 2023. <laughs> Hopefully that's uh, sooner than later. Yeah. Hopefully Transformers just kind of like moves out of the way and then we get Lord of the Rings sooner. True. (laughs) But yeah, these decks look cool. Um, There's definitely some cards in there that I am interested in that I will be scoping out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Got to get some of these cards for my dick. Got to get my dick all stacked. You got to stick the dick. Got to stick the dick. (laughs) <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Makes sense. You don't know what Makes I'm saying. Sense. You don't even fucking, you're not even stacking a dick with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, true, <laughs> You're like, what are you doing? <laughs> Try it. Stacking a dick with me. Stacking. <laughs> Before I get pissed. <laughs> Before I get fucking pissed. <laughs> you're <gonna> stacking. <laughs> 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 That was actually a good diversion for me to find what the question was last week. So thank <laughs> oh, you. No, you're welcome. I didn't know what you were doing. I thought you were just like trying to avoid eye contact. So you wouldn't see the no. ding. Oh, dang it. Maybe no. this is actually one that's two weeks old, but either way. Wait, did we not do one Which last week? game are you most excited for? I think we already talked about that one. Damn it, did we not do another one? My bad. Ah, whatever. We're really good at this. Oh, Shit. with the end already? Yeah. Oh, sweet. So, what won, by the way? Was it Pokemon or God of War? It was God of War. It was, Pokemon was close. God of War was at 42. Pokemon was at 32. That's pretty good. So, yeah. It's really not that far off. Yeah, I'm playing God of War again. Hell yeah. The it's remake. so fucking good. It's really good. Um, I've also beaten the first one already. I'm pretty close to the end of Ghost of Sparta on the PSP and then God of War Ascension on PS3. They were. I never played Ascension. Like right, I, nobody. I, I think everybody skipped that one. Yeah. Is it good? I have no clue. I've never played it. But what I'm playing so far is really fun. Okay. Because they they started to change up the controls, so you're using like the, the L's and R ones and stuff to do certain things, mm. which was weird because in number three you didn't really do that. Mm-mm. But this one is also chronologically the first God of War. God of War Ascensions, then I think the PSP God of War Chains of Olympus or something. I thought it was Ghost of Sparta was the first then, one. Then the first God of War, then Ghost of Sparta. Because in Ghost of Sparta, uh, yeah, you, I believe you. you're already the God of War and you have like followers and everything. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. okay. It's I actually guess... been really cool to play because for some reason I just skipped that one, I guess, back in the day. And playing it now, you actually see like spartan armies and shit like just ransacking villages and then they run up to kratos and it's like we found some Ares paraphernalia and we'll burn it uh lord to show them who the true god of war is and they'll like tear down like statues and shit and that's tight it's really cool to actually see him being a god i want to play a god of war rts real-time strategy yeah where it's like that could be pretty freaking cool yeah, each one of you like can command your armies of dudes. Yeah. It's like a League of Legends style God War. You know what I mean? That'd be pretty sweet. But you can just have gods from different like. You could have like Ra. Jesus versus Muhammad oh, or something. Jesus, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fucking cool. <laughs> as long as they made it good, because they did have that weird god fighting game. That yeah, War Gods. Yeah. That game was tight. Did you actually play it? Yeah, I owned that game when I was oh. a kid on the sixty four War Gods. It was like War Gods, oh. Bio Freaks, fucking... Oh, what the hell is it called? Yeah, War Gods. It's not that one, though. It's a different one. I'm trying Mace? To... Um, Remember Mace? Did you ever play Mace? I don't... Which it system was, a... was that on? 64. These are all... Th- Mace. 64 3D fighters. 
Fight the Gods is the one I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, i never seen that yet. Yeah, that one's just a, a straight fighter. Oh. And you do have Jesus, and but he's got, like, parts of the cross still banded to his forearm, so that's, like, his weapon. Hell, yeah. <laughs> it's fucking... It's <laughs> cool. <laughs> I don't know the whole roster because I never played it myself, but... There's Santa Claus. So I'm like... Or, no, this is a different thing. Ah, I'm having a hard time finding stuff on it. True. But <laughs> that was interesting. Sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, whatever. Fight the gods. I'm down. Um, I have been trying. Fight me! <laughs> Fight me! Um, but he won't. No. So what are you going to do? Uh, as I get stricken down, just have a heart attack and die. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. I don't believe. Um, <laughs> so... Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So what's the question of the week this week? The question of the week this week is what game did you wait to get better, just like No Man's Sky uh, and stuff like that? Cyberpunk. But never did. Oh, dang. Right? But never. You were right on top of that Cyberpunk answer, though. Yeah, that game broke on me, and I couldn't finish it. I remember that I was so sad. Because I was enjoying the game. I was like, yeah, this game's broken as fuck, but it's fun. Right. And then it literally broke. Hmm. Um, but uh, and and never went back to. Yeah, like De- Destiny. Destiny, Destiny One. I never went back to that. That game sucked. No Man's Sky. I never went back to that either. Yeah, like that was a game that was like, I'm not gonna fucking do this. I'm not gonna play a game that sucks, with the expectation that eventually I'll like it. Right. I'm not gonna read a book that takes half of it to get into. I I don't have I don't have the patience. Or the attention to do that. Yeah. I'm a real piece of shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just... Uh, it's, for me, Rainbow Six Extraction. Yeah, that one. I tried I, to play it that one time, remember? Yeah. Like, it, it's kind of fun, but it's super fun for, like, an hour and a half. And then you've basically done it. It was Left for Dead in the Rainbow Six universe, which is just... Uh... It does not play right. It does not play right. It's not the right. Because then they're just bullet sponges and shit, and you're like, but this is Rainbow Six, I want to do the one shot, like, tap, tap. Well, yeah. Extra shots for just good luck. Yeah. I'm like, fuck. It's like, if there's not, like, realistic, like, bullet weight or impact on a zombie. Yeah. It's just not right. If they're just eating bullets and still coming forward, like, it doesn't even affect the, the, their... Their stride. Yeah. They, then they you're just like, keep no, running at you unless no. you shoot like a tiny sack like a, <laughs> on their hand or something that's like glowing red. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You got to shoot all the sacks. <laughs> shoot all the sacks then. <laughs> the older the zombie, the bigger the target. True. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that one, I don't know. I just, I keep going back to it a little bit just to see and they haven't done anything with it. It's really sad. Figures. I know. God. Damn it. Ho oh, damn it. Oh, jeez. At least they fucking fixed the uh, the last ghost recon. That was that was basically my no man's skies. Yeah. That one was so shit when Which it one was out. it called? Ghost? I think it's break. Breakpoint. Breakpoint. Break point. Yeah. Breakpoint. Yeah. That it, doesn't even sound like a good name. It sounds it's an awful name. That's it why I can't like, remember it. Y- you remember Island Thunder? Yeah. It's like, that doesn't sound like a good game. That sounds like a, a Mountain Dew flavor. Right. <laughs> Damn, that sounds delicious. That does sound delicious. Dude, it would be like... Um... <laughs> <laughs> it'd be it, delicious. It'd be like a lemon. You know what I mean? Oh, they lean a little bit more into the lemon? Yeah, more lemon. Maybe it's a lemonade. I'd appreciate that. An I feel Island like... Thunder lemonade? Yeah. I feel like the lemon lime drink just doesn't get enough respect. You just got to make it interesting again. I mean, the hard part with lemon lime is you can't. There's no. There's no caffeine additive in most of them. You, your sprites, your Sierra mists. There's no caffeine, and then the closest you get is a Mountain Dew, and that's just just gets into syrup. Yeah. City, you know what I'm saying? They use syrups in Mountain Dew. Hmm. Shit. Yep. Maybe that's where my blood clot came from. Mm, yep, yep. And your constipation. <laughs> and uh, your diarrhea. <laughs> it's both. I knew it. 
It never yeah. comes out, but when it does, man, <laughs> holy There's crap. There's no stopping. <laughs> it's like a river. <laughs> <laughs> you remember you remember <laughs> Ghostbusters 2? Hmm. You remember when they go into the sewer? Oh, yeah. It's slime! Yeah, it's that. Oh. Uh, Gross. <laughs> Vankman's in my butt. <laughs> oh. It's a toy, but he's in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's still there. <laughs> Hasn't Damn. snuck off. Into... I told you I could work that into a conversation. <laughs> it's true. You did. Smooth. <laughs> Buttery. <laughs> That's some, what I used. <laughs> some might say a little <laughs> Melvin Gordon up. No. <laughs> Today Ben was like, "Dang, why is everybody hating on Melvin Gordon?" And I was like, "Obvious reason." Because he keeps dropping the goddamn ball, dude. But he, I don't know. It's like, like that's your one job to uh, not drop it. There's something about the fact that he feels so bad about it. Did you see his presser? Mm-mm. I know we're talking about Broncos again. Um, <laughs> he like was he had to like walk away. He was so distraught. He was like very upset at himself. Mm-hmm. He knew mm-hmm. he knew what he had done. Mm. Nobody feels it more than them. Yeah, yeah. I would imagine so because that is embarrassing as fuck. And for a guy to score off of it too, <sighs> gross. <sighs> Anyhow, okay, moving on. Moving on back to back from Broncos. <laughs> All right, uh, but I'm excited to check out these decks. There's some good cards that I'm gonna pull out of these decks just for my deck. So I have to open a deck to take out a card or two. Mm. So that seems strange, but I'm going to do it. I mean, and then you get to put the singles out in the store. So yeah, sure. I guess we could just have some of the singles of the new right. cards. There's some D stuff, right? I wonder if that's that's actually an interesting idea to just open commander decks these ones would be worth worth opening probably yeah, if you got those 40 new cards and a guy just doesn't want 60 more on top of that well i should have ordered more because everybody's sold out now ah uh, balls yeah we got like 60 sets so hopefully that's enough yeah we will find out is I that know. this friday it is i don't think it's enough i think we should have ordered more but we'll find out because now that i'm looking at them they look cool as shit necron dynasty oh this is a I thought they were all three color yeah, decks. Yeah, it's a mono black. Mono black. Oh, that's fucking. The awesome. rest are three. Yeah, I saw the black and I was like, "What?" I just make it red, white, black. Damn it! Dang, that's tight. It's the only one they didn't give us. It's the only one I want. Really? Yeah. Because then I can mess around with it and put a bunch of dwarves and all, shit in there. All your dwarves. All my dwarves. So I got some wicked, awesome, like. Zombie dwarf, yeah, Belathar. Dude, that guy's fucking Belthar. Yeah, and then like the red, red and white ones also are. They're just, you know, the you dwarves know. are solid. All right, I think uh, we are out of topics, and we should stop. It was nice speaking with everyone tonight, and I appreciate all your input to our members also, of the audience and our production team, cast and crew, lighting specialists. Um, 3D animators, mm-hmm. um, the the boom mic holder, little Ricky over there, the sound um, effects guy, the pet store store dog, uh, you know, cast cast and crew, the, uh, buffet servers, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the the bartenders, the, the 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 people that keep everything clean, cocktail waitresses, yeah, 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 and waiters, oh, obviously, well, obviously, like obviously, the, obviously. maybe the waiters more than the waitresses, they just balance a little, just a <laughs> little better. I'm not like it's one of those things where they're that you know they're holding it and I'm like they're like you want one and I'm like yeah stop <laughs> you know what I'm saying stop one of those what? where you're just like stop mo- can I get it and they're like oh I'm sorry I didn't uh, I didn't fucking uh, I forgot to feed my kids I gotta go back <laughs> I forgot to feed my kids <laughs> okay anyhow I knew he was gonna come up I knew it alrighty official sign off <laughs> good night official. Sign-off.